Can I edit 4K video while I'm on holiday in the Dominican Republic with an Asus ZenBook? I'll be shooting with the Sony A7S Model 2, recording with an Atomos Shogun, and I've installed Adobe Premiere. Let's see how it goes. I don't want to wait until I get home to find out if my 4K video has turned out okay. This Asus laptop has a 4K resolution screen and the power to do color correction and video editing. At home, I edit on a 5K iMac using Final Cut 10, so this is outside my comfort zone. The resolution of the 16-inch screen on this elegant notebook is 4K, 3840 by 2160, four times the resolution of standard HD 1920 by 1080. The IPS display panel has a very high pixel density, 282 per inch and a wide viewing angle. Playback of some of my previous videos posted in 4K from my YouTube channel look great, full of the detail, clarity and color purity I expect. Asus products tend to be designed for high-end gaming. With an Intel quad-core i7, NVIDIA GTX 960 graphics and 16 gigs of RAM, and a Bang & Olufsen sound system, this system is well configured for anything. And that might seem like a luxury to some, but as a video editor, I truly appreciate the power, as well as the real estate and the resolution that 4K provides, even on a 16-inch screen. After importing, using the ZenBook's SD card slot, always a most valued feature, I'm able to see the A7S II footage at full resolution. The shots I'm taking here at Playa Dorada look good. That's giving me the ability to confirm that I'm getting the material I need for the review. My on-camera scenes, the sample shots, the screen captures, they're all good. Importing them to the ZenBook also gives me a backup copy of these files. Using Premiere, I'm able to assemble the shots onto a timeline. Although I'm in an unfamiliar environment, in most ways the ZenBook feels as responsive as my iMac. Selecting, trimming, it's all working well. After all, I want to spend my time on the beach, not in the room. For the footage I shot using the S-Log settings, I started with Premiere's color adjustment panel. Both processor and screen are up to the challenge, delivering real-time display as I manipulate the controls. Back in Toronto, the laptop screen does start to feel small. Asus also provided the VE248, a 61 centimeter diagonal HD resolution screen. I changed from clone to extended desktop and moved the program screen onto the VE248 for a better, clearer view of the program playback. That's a very nice arrangement. And back in my studio where it's quiet, I am hearing the ZenBooks fan. There were some peculiarities and annoyances. I suppose if I had a greater familiarity with Windows, I would have been able to address these, but there's a continual interruption of alerts and promotions, and many of the special function keys like volume up and down and the numeric keypad didn't work. And although it did work on the VE248, I couldn't get the HDMI out to provide audio to the Shogun. The beautiful Asus screensaver kept popping up. Although it generally starts after a few minutes of inactivity, one time it just started randomly in the middle of the night. I'm going to finish editing this project on the iMac, which would clearly be easier if I was using Premiere Pro on both platforms. When I selected the iMac, there were no Windows solutions with comparable display resolution or performance. The ZenBook is up to the task, with the added benefit of portability, so you can spend more time by the pool.